Hello world and welcome to the Charlotte Hornets in Charlotte, North Carolina. It is 2022. It's their opening game against the Pelicans. My wife likes Duke, so we had spur of the moment tickets here. We're going to go in and have ourselves a good time. Hopefully not miss part of the first quarter, but we probably will. But oh well, it's going to be fun anyways. I'm going to try to make this video more about... A t about touring the Spectrum Center than I am just my experience so that you can see what the Spectrum Center is like. It's a pretty cool arena. The Hornets won their first game of the season in pretty good fashion. They, they pretty much stomped the other team, but a little bit nervous facing these Duke boys. Zion Williamson's back. He's doing amazing. I don't know. I hope we win. Fingers crossed. Here's our first look at the Spectrum Center really do love Charlotte. We come here a lot for uh, Checkers games and Hornets games. You can get some good cheap tickets here at these Hornets games. I think we paid around $70 to after, and that's after um, taxes and fees and all, off of Ticketmaster for two nosebleed seats. They're not the best of seats, but we still get to have fun. Correction, we paid $70 for three tickets. Here's their practice gym that they use. It's kind of cool that the practice gym is actually connected to the one we're going to, the real gym. Well, I guess it's they're both real gyms, but you get my point. It's a party out here because it is their home opener. Look how crowded this is. I promise you all, it is rarely ever this crowded out here at the Charlotte Hornets Arena Spectrum Center. I mean, this place is usually fairly empty. Even when the game starts, you can find some seats all over, at least up top. I don't think that's going to happen this day, this game. through it and they sent us over here for bag check we're probably five minutes from tip off and this is where we have to go i think bag check is right in there where the hornets fan shop is we made it through security and there's our starting lineup let's just say security was much more in-depth than it has ever been they had like an airport thing where you had to put your bag on it and it's like a conveyor belt it rolls it through and they x-ray scan it seats are 229 so according to this sign we've got to walk this way right here's carolina moonshine barbecue i like how they have tvs everywhere to watch the game while you're waiting on your food and stuff you can watch the game six to five we still haven't made it to our seats yet there's a like a lemonade stand i think it's like a bar yeah stinger lemonade so there's lemonade with alcohol in it. They've got little stands like this, pop-up stands all over the arena. So you don't have to go to the main gift shop to always buy your merch. But obviously the main gift shop is going to have more merch than these little pop-up stands. Stairs now, and you can see that they still have these merch stands that, that you know pop up. There's a place to get some drinks and some snacks and things, so you do not have to go back downstairs to get that. I don't remember this area up here being called the Dr. Pepper Pavilion, I thought it was called something else. But yeah, you got grills up here, Black Drop Grill, got a bar right there, and let me show you this view you've got. We're gonna head over here and see the ball court. section 229 we're on like the direct opposite of where we need to be ah. this place here used to be a like a little place for kids to shoot basketball maybe play some games and things looks like they just turned it into a place to eat oh it's called the nest i don't remember seeing the nest there we go there's our look at our court such a nice court we're row t that is the second last row s we have 
the highest row possible. But it's fun because I feel like I can still see pretty decently. If not, they have this huge uh, screen here. I think it's one of the biggest jumbotrons in the league. Now we're in a section like this where that cardboard thing is with the hornet on it. You can actually go higher if you sit over here. So it goes up to like row U and all. I did not know this, but it looks like Petey Pablo is going to be at the halftime show. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we're in a timeout right now, and we need it. We're down by, I think, 13. It's Hugo! The Hornets mascot. Hugo has to be the best mascot out there, right? Nick Richards had a pretty nasty dunk. I don't know if the Hornets are really going to go to the championship this year, but I think he's going to be a bright side to this season. Remember the nest area that we were at that I hadn't heard of before? I think it says something like, what was it, the Dr. Pepper experience? That is right there. 35 to 24. Not too terrible. Definitely come back from a score like that. I'm telling you, it is good to be here. Hear Big Pat announcing the game. I just wish the mellow ball was playing. He's not playing tonight. with the ball doing some fancy moves kicks it out and he bricks the three the half hip-hop crew is out here i don't remember seeing that last year the year before the year before so that might be a new thing this year reuben vincent in the house says he's a recording artist did not know that scary terry just converted on an old-fashioned three-point play seems like the hornets defensive plan is to contain Zion. Every time he touches that ball, we've got three guys around him, two or three guys. I wanted to give you a slow pan of the arena here. Look how big this is. It is such a sick place to go watch a basketball game. We come here all the time. The tickets are so cheap. Like I told you before, we got three tickets up here for 70 bucks, and that's after taxes and fees. And that's off Ticketmaster, too. Sometimes you can get a good deal on StubHub, but don't tell anybody. Cut the lead within six. In the second quarter, Gordon Hayward inbounding Terry Rozier. We'll see what they do with it. So we got one popcorn, which is pretty big, by the way. My daughter's chowing down on it, where I would show it to you. And we got two drinks, 20 bucks. I didn't think that was that bad in a place like this. Usually they charge much more. So $20 I can live with. It is a little bit of a price gouge, but, you know, not bad. Woo! Go Hornets! Boo! Yeah, see, I did that.
is down. Looks like an ankle injury. Man, I really hope he's not injured. He is a good player for all he got up and he's rocking. That's good. Shoot, come on, man. Get it together. Score update. I guess it wasn't a bad injury because he's out there playing now. We got uh, two minutes and 40 seconds left. Oh my gosh, we're not going to win like that. We got to make up what is that? Nine points. So I think we're going to go ahead and jet a minute before the game ends, just so we don't get ran over by the crowd. It's a lot harder when you have a little one trying to get out of a mess like this. Here's a closer look. Let's zoom in and see some of the players. Thank you, Spectrum Center. Had a good time tonight. Now we came in a side door and we exited at the front door. So this is what you're going to see if you come in the normal way. Right there's the Spectrum Center entrance. You're going to get security checked right in those doors, head up the escalators, and you'll be right where we came in at the gift shop. I know we left early, but you can see that they put the score out here in the street. So there you go, 124 Pelicans, 112 Hornets. They didn't do that bad, right? That's going to do it for tonight. I had a blast watching the Hornets play the Pelicans at the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, and every other buzzword that YouTube might bring up. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, the Hornets, I mean, I don't think anybody expected this much from the Hornets at this point. So the fact that they were within two in the fourth quarter, I was pretty proud of them. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're a pretty good team. I think they're going to impress... Uh, how do I say it? Surprise some people. Because I think they're a lot better than what people think they are. When LaMelo comes back, might be a different story. We might be winning games like that. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm excited for the season. Can't wait to see the rest. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Bye.